Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the new Collect Day 2019 Boreal Opelta. This is one of their newest models. Came out probably a few weeks ago. I got mine from everythingdinosaur.com for just over five bucks. So if you're interested in this guy, I'll leave a link in the description to their site. For those of you that never heard of Boreal Opelta, it is a new dinosaur. It was discovered in 2011 and wasn't named until 2017. It was discovered by a mining company up in Alberta, Canada. They called some paleontologists over from the Royal Terrell Museum. And the rock layer was found in was ocean deposits. So when the paleontologists went out there, they were expecting to find a fossil of a marine reptile. But they were very surprised to find this dinosaur out there. And how did it get out there? Well, the theory is a little Boreal Apelta drowned and died in a flood where its body got washed out to sea. And it was just floated around full of gases until its cavity burst and sunk down to the bottom of the ocean where it was quickly covered in sediment. And what was left behind was a very well-preserved fossil. So well-preserved that all the, fo all the plating was preserved in its natural lifelike placement. They could even tell where the keratin sheets were on the plates and even what color it was which makes Borrela Pelta a truly fascinating dinosaur find. Collecte always seems to be ahead of the curve when a new dinosaur species is discovered and named. They seem to get the models out there fairly quickly. Um, they did that when the new data came out on Spinosaurus a few years ago. They had three Spinosaur models came out. This guy was named in 2017 and beginning in 2019 we have a Borrela Pelta model which is pretty cool. So moving on to the model itself, this is part of Collect, Collect A's regular line. It is not the biggest figure. He is about six inches long, which would put him in the 135 scale range. But for such a small figure, it does pack a lot of detail. So let's pull this guy a little closer and take a look. The pose is just standard walking pose but when viewed from above if you look at the picture of the holotype specimen it seems that they sculpted the pose to mimic that I don't know if it was on purpose or intentional but most likely it probably was intentional because you got the head looking slightly to the left just like the holotype as I said earlier scientists were able to tell what color Borrela pelta was and it is a nice reddish brown color that this model beautifully captures. Take a look at that very well sculpted head. Just a little black paint for the pupil. You can see the armor plating is very well sculpted based off the skeleton material. They knew the exact position of each of these osteoderms and Collecta has captured that beautifully. Even the sides, the little row of osteoderms underneath there. The underneath is a cream color, and you got the classic Collect A Dirty Cloaca. Now, only the front half of the skeleton has been discovered. The tail is based off of the Notosaur reconstruction. The feet have the correct amount of digits and the right shape. And it is a very well done figure. For such a small figure, this does pack a lot of detail. I know some people were disappointed about the size of this figure. But you know what? I'm okay with it because I have a lot of big dinosaur models. And it's nice to save on space. You can see they give it a nice black wash to bring out the scale detail. Overall, a really really nice model of this new dinosaur absolutely love this thing and for five bucks you really can't ask for much more than this this is a great little figure from collect day i'm gonna take out a few other armored dinosaur figures and compare him to this guy all right first up for comparison is the safari ltd Sauropelta, which is a fantastic figure. 
And next is the Papo whoops, Polycanthus. And next is the Toyway Walking with Dinosaur Polycanthus. And I got a lot of figures to compare, so I am just trying to pick them out. And here is the Papo Ankylosaurus thing. And this is the Rebor War Pig Ankylosaurus, which is a big model. And this is the Safari LTD Ankylosaurus. So, doing a lot of armored dinosaurs here. So, Notosaurus did not have the tail club. Ankylosaurids did. So, there's your little quick fact. And, well, this is a Vitae model that for right now I cannot remember or pronounce the name of. All I know is it begins with the letter Z. And this is a Kyoto Cycinia. I don't know. I'm probably butchering that name. So if anyone know, if I mispronounce it, just let me know in the comments. So another very small figure that packs a lot of detail. And here is the ooh, collect a. Feathered Rex, and here is the other 2019 collecting model there, beautiful Conotaurus. So yeah, I know a few people were disappointed in the size of this figure, but I am okay with it. Remember, collecting has give us, given us a lot of nice, small, very detailed models like some of their ceratopsians so i am okay with the size of this figure so final thoughts i think this is a fantastic figure very well sculpted highly detailed the price can't be beat i think it's really cool how collect a is very quick to get new dinosaur species into their toy line the turnaround time is pretty much at breakneck speed so i was very excited when they announced this figure and i'm finally glad to have it in hand it lived up to my expectations. So with that, if you're liking the review, guys, don't forget to subscribe. The channel is growing pretty well, and I appreciate everyone that is subscribing and liking my reviews. So I'll see you guys for the next one.